This is Karan here. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying 10th grade in Yamu International School. So what's so special about this section? Well, in this section, following this is when we'll be studying probability and study of probability, counting, possibility, and certain of mathematics. Very important. But in this section, we'll also be talking about counting principles. Now, let's say if you flip a coin, flip, you say it's a flip a coin, and also then roll a six sided die. What's the probability of it? Well, we can write this as H1, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, and then tail 1, tail 2, tail 3, tail 4, tail 5, and tail 6. This is all the possible outcomes that you can get, okay? Now since, uh, well, we, if there's, since there was just die and then the coin, we can simply go ahead and write this out. But what if it was something big, which has many sides, like octagon and so on, dodecagon sided die, okay? Whatever you're going to do that, well, a coin has two sides, so let's put down two. You multiply that by the side, six sided, so six, which gives you 12, which gives you 12 possible outcomes. So let's go ahead and count it down, okay? With blue marker. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So you know how this works over here. Okay? Now, what if you were, if someone were to ask you, and this is all a game of prob probability, and I'm sure you have played this game at your house. Okay? What if someone were to ask you that how many two letter letter words are possible okay so without replacement without replacement basically means that it's two letter words right so you can have 26 words times 25 which gives out 60, 650 now in our English alphabet there's 26 words okay now I'm telling you how do we get 25 here so we have 26 words and since we used one word we can't we can't replace it with another one so if you were to take in out of A to Z okay you took Z or some some kind of letter out now you have only a to uh, Y or something. Okay, so now you only have 25 letters. So you can add Z at the back. So it's 25. So 26 times 25 yields uh, 650. Now, what if you were to have replacement? Which basically means you can put the Z back in. So once you used one letter, you can put that back in. It's like card of deck. Once you flip the card, okay, when you saw the card, you can put back, you can put that card back, okay, and without replacement means once you pick the card, you have to take the card right away. You can't put it back down, okay? So we have 26 cards times, you can replace it, so it'll be 26 times 26, or 26 squared, which gives us 626. So you see, there's so many letters possible. Now, this involves a topic called permutation and combination that we break down by going through this section over here. Now, let's say you were to have eight books. Permutation and combination plays a major role in study of probability. So, let's say you draw six, eight books over here. So, if you have eight Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. Eight books right here. Okay? 
what is the probability that you have a stack okay you have a stack right here that you can fit three um, three big books one two and three big books over here what is the probability well the probability is that you have eight books eight times seven times six okay would basically if you take the last three out multiply them together you have 336 which is the probability now permutation is where order is important okay we'll talk as you move on I will show you something else where order is not important but since we are talking about permutations okay let me go ahead and write it down erase this example over here now what we are talking about is the idea of permutations which basically means order is important now what we will do is basically go ahead and solve some pro um, uh, uh, questions related to permutations but before we actually go on to that I'll give you guys a formula of permutation on how basically it looks like okay so the first one I'll teach you guys on how how it's arranged and how it's being used so permutation is where order is important okay remember that so the formula when we come up to the formula if we take eight items for three books okay same with those our block story with eight books okay and so on so if we had eight books and we can only stack three at a time how many possibilities do we have on arranging the books first book second book and third book out of eight books so eight uh, three books taken eight books taken three at a time how many probability do we have well you don't have to always count the way we did before which is eight times seven times six okay what you can do is use the permutation formula which basically says the highest number over here which is eight over here and then basically what you do is eight minus three factorial okay basically this would eat up yields out eight times seven times six times five factorial let's stop right there because eight minus three would give up five factorial as well so what you need to do now is cancel this with this okay basically it yields up what we had before which is eight times seven times six which basically gives us three thirty six now again most of the people say that this permutations make sense to them better than the actual probability so the only thing careful about this is that it tells you in the question that order is important or gives you some kind of hint that order is important then only you can use the formula of permutations so in how let's move on to our next example of permutations Okay, so the first question tells us in how many ways can a letter A, B, C, D, which is four letter, can be arranged? Okay, so basically it doesn't four letters, which is A, B, C, D. How many ways can we arrange this four letters? Where since there are four letters, we can have four times three times two times one or basically you can just say four factorial okay so doing this we would find out that we, there's 24 possible ways in which we can arrange this four le letters over here okay now let's move on to our second example using the idea of permutations where order is important now the second question tells us how many three digit numbers area codes are possible in the first digit and the first digit cannot be zero so it's giving you a condition that the first digit cannot be zero other digits can so total let's see there's three digit code in some area okay and the first digit 
cannot be zero. Okay? So out of one to ten numbers, we can have nine numbers for the first one because the sec the last one, which is zero, is not we cannot use that. The second one we can. So it's ten digits. The third one would be 10 digits as well, right? So what we need to do, 9 times 10 times 10, which basically yields out 900. So we can make 900 codes of three digits, which does not include zero as their first digit. Okay? Now, let's go on and talk about the permutations of books that we just talked about a moment ago. Eight stacks of books. Take an eight at a time. Okay? So if the question tells us that eight permutation of eight, which basically means eight books taken eight at a time, so how many ways are possibly there? So basically it's eight factorial because the first digit comes here, then eight minus eight factorial, which is eight minus eight over here from the for you go from left to right, okay? So here, 8 minus 8 would yield out 0 factorial, and like I said before, the 0 factorial is equal to 1, so it would basically be 8 factorial divided by 1. 8 factorial, if you know, it's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which basically yields out 320. Okay? Now let's talk about the idea of combinations, okay? So oh, combinations is where the order is not important. It goes completely against permutations. In permutations, we talked about is that the order is important, okay? So how does combination look like? Well, it looks similar to permutations, which basically, uh, if you see the permutation, it looks like this. Three items taken, uh, eight items taken, three at a time in combination. Order does not matter. And so you can take the word group is often used for combination. Okay, so for the problem to tell us that use combination laws or formula, so it, it would tell us the word such as group, and it's just one example. So if a problem that contains a formula, uh, probability um, things, Okay, so you, if it contains the word group in it, well, you know that now you need to use combination, which basically means like this. Okay, combination of three items, to, uh, eight items taken three at a time. Now the whole formula changes as you move to combination, which basically is like this. So far, it's still permutation, but what adds up in combination is the small digit number multiplied with the subtract the change of 8 minus 3. So you would basically do 8 times 7 times 6 factorial, 8 minus 3, which yields out 6 factorial times 3 factorial. 6 factorial cancels out with 6 factorial right here. Okay, and then you have 3 factorial, which can basically be... Okay, so it would be 8 times 7 divided by 3 times 2. Now you can cancel 2 out by 8 by 4 okay and then you can solve this in your calculator basically the answer would be 56 so that's it for this section and we'll move on to something more complicated in the next section of probability I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like comment and subscribe thank you for watching there is a Facebook page down below in the uh, description uh, there's a URL which I want you guys to click on and like that page for me. It really helps me a lot. And again, thank you for watching. Share the videos around with your friends and family.